today we'll be testing your search engine skills by playing a game of In One Search. Okay. I've actually thought of myself as pretty good, especially like when I talk to, like when I have other friends around, when it would be like, oh, let's look up this thing or like looking up a problem. You know, I have a way of being able to search that, it sounds so silly. Like it just seems like I'm able to find I can dig and find things pretty good. Here's how this game is gonna work. Uh, for each round, we're gonna ask you to find something in just one search in the browser that we name. These will be answering trivia questions. Some of them will be finding answers without the use of specific keywords. So you'll have to get a little creative with some of these. That sounds really challenging. For our first search, can you please find what movie Keanu Reeves was in where he played Ortiz the dog boy without using the words Ortiz the dog boy or Keanu Reeves? And it has to show up in the first page of results. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so movie uh, with Matrix star K9 with a Spanish name. <laughs> oh, we got Keanu Reeves as our number one answer. I don't see it on there. The Matrix, The Matrix. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to think of any movie that he was in. I'm, I'm just so horrible at this stuff. Matrix, actor, recent movie. So I think I may have had an epic fail. Okay. Nah, I couldn't do it. I'm drawing a blank because I've never done this before, so I'm trying to think of other movies that he's in. Dracula, older film. I guess I don't watch that many movies, so nope, I don't think that was right. I'm tempted to write just Puppy Man. <laughs> Puppy Man Matrix? I'm just gonna go with Puppy Man Matrix. I don't think it's gonna work, but... No, unfortunately you didn't get this first one. Matrix actor... How do I... How do I get this dog part? Um... Actually, main, main Matrix actor, animal role. The only thing that came up is Matrix stuff. Well, unfortunately, yeah, that was you fail. didn't find the movie. I don't know, I'm just trying to go for key words that like they put into the Google thing, especially if they're trying to get traction to this film, like canine, man, dark haired actor, rides subway sometimes doesn't have huge mansion, donates all of his money to charity, 100% good man. Canine man movie dark haired actor. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. You ready? Three, two, one, Googled. <gasps> how is how to lose a guy in 10 days related to this? I don't think I got this one, but I was pretty close because there is Darth Vader and he has dark hair and there's lots of dogs in the front row. So maybe like, it was a good search, yeah. Right? <laughs> the movie was Freaked. Fre freaked? Yeah, from very early on in his career. Oh, he becomes like a werewolf? No, that's so funny because I literally was gonna Google search like Wolfman, but I didn't want to get into that. I didn't know. I mean, maybe now it'll give me something to watch. I, I'm a Keanu fan. I think I'm gonna add that to my watch list, maybe even tonight. Let's try a different Google search. Without typing in the name Dumbledore, can you find its old English meaning through just one Google search? Uh, and we're looking for an article that shows up on the first page of results. I'm thinking this is a smart search, but I don't know. Oh wait, why don't I, I can't all that. Okay, 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 this is okay. I don't know if it's gonna hop up in the first. It's probably gonna be Harry Potter. Mm. Yes! Bumblebee, the first search, go off. Harry Potter character names, the secret meanings behind, and finally, Dumbledore, in quotations, is an old English word for Bumblebee. I feel like this covers everything. Well, we got our first Wikipedia of Albus Dumbledore. Oh wait, it says right there. Oh, it does indeed, you got it. Yes! <laughs> It was it Headmaster? Headmaster's first name means white in Latin for Albus Dumbledore. Bumblebee? Oh, that's so cute. 
Harry Potter, meaning behind Harry Potter characters, character names, character names. Started to say, look, it's right there. Incidentally, Dumbledore is also an old English word meaning. That's about as close as you can get. Head master old English meaning. Oh yeah, you got it, first one. Meaning, name, Headmaster, Harry Potter. Oh, there it is. Perfect. See it. Headmaster of Hogwarts, Old English for Bumblebee. I don't know what else I could search that doesn't have Dumbledore that would show this result. Like, I think I, I included every detail possible. Oh, you got it in the very first one. I love it. That's so cool. What a great name for Dumbledore. What a great um, Old English meaning. So you made it through Google. We're gonna move on to YouTube now. Can you please find a video of bloopers from the show Supernatural without typing in either bloopers or Supernatural and it must show up within the first 10 results. Okay, I'm trying to think of the actors' names maybe. Let's see, I know Jared Pilecki. Okay, let's try that. So funny moments, Jared Pilecki and Jensen Ackles. They're, both of their names are a little more complex. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, the first one says cute and funny moments, Supernatural 2018. I'm gonna give this to you because it has the word blooper in it and it's all about Supernatural and it seems like, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one to yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the characters' names is Finn, but I think I'm wrong and I don't wanna be wrong. CW show gag, real angels and demons. I think I'm just gonna have to go with this search right here. Oh my God, look at that. Supernatural parody by the Hollywood Show. That's the one I'm in. 15 million views or 19 million views, excuse me, five years ago. Good times, good times. Um, yeah, Supernatural. CW fail moments. All right, it's like all Fortnite and Minecraft. Definitely did not get it. Mistakes in popular sci-fi sci TV show. Not seeing anything about Supernatural. Okay. That kind of works. Gag reel, yeah. I love Supernatural. I am a big Supernatural fan. I have Supernatural pops. Yeah, I mean, you immediately knew what to type in here. Mistakes, ghost. Sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> CW? Is it on the CW? I feel like that sounds like a channel that has all the Supernatural <laughs> shows. Ghost outtakes, CW. Let's do season one. I don't know. <gasps> it worked! <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe it worked. TV show, Witch Power's Real Outtakes. I don't know any of the actors' names. I don't really know what the show is about besides that it it's, has some sort of supernatural powers to it because it's in the title. This is not gonna work at all. Oh, let's go. Okay. See, I told you I'm very, very good with my, my intuition here. What's even cooler is the fact that the parody I was just talking about is right there. Go check it out. Can you please find a video where Ariana Grande appears with an ex-boyfriend without typing in the name Ariana Grande, without typing in any boyfriend, ex-boyfriend names, and no names of songs? That's impossible. <laughs> what ex-boyfriends can you name? I mean, okay. like Pete Davidson, um, Mac Miller, I... I think that's it. All I can think about is like SNL. If I can't put any of their names in, there's like probably a million SNL videos on YouTube. So it's impossible. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> okay. <gasps> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give this to oh, you. Yeah. I mean, there's Pete Davidson and I, oh, there we go, Ariana Grande. There we go, I found it. I can't spell, I can't spell, I can't spell. She broke an engagement with, with, with what's his nose. Maybe he'll pop up, I'm hoping. I think I did, I don't, th there, there, there. Famous young singers, singer, we'll do singer. All right, I, I you know, what have I got to lose? Here we go, <laughs> one, two, three, go. Taylor Swift, celebs who diss their exes in songs. Nope, 
No, nope. I'm not going to blame my searching skills. It's my lack of knowledge for pop culture, which I'm going to say is not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe I'm just used to researching more deeper, meaningful things. Recent pop star and previous relationships. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay. I think that counts because there's footage of her with... Oh, that one is nasty. That cyst one. Ew. Uh, why, is that a, why is that a search result? Second one counts because it looks like it does have footage of her and her ex Pete Davidson in it. So. I'll oh, right. I forgot Pete Davidson. Yeah. I did know that. <laughs> Ponytail pop star with boy. Yes! Almost. Looking for an ex-boyfriend in the top 10. I don't think so. Well, Jimmy Fallon could be an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think I got this one. Victorious support supporting actress. Okay, that could be any of the supporting actresses in that show, but that's why we gotta piece this together here. Okay, I got one Ariana Grande video, but I don't think that's what we're looking for. Oh well, Ari, I tried for you. For the final round, you'll try searching on Netflix. Okay. Awesome. I feel like Netflix is gonna be a little bit easier. Now, can you please find a movie in which Steve Carell voiced an animated character without typing in the name Steve Carell and without typing in any uh, movie titles. Okay. Also, we don't want you to be looking uh, specifically in the animated section. So it has to be like an overall, overall search. Okay. Can I use the name of a character? Like, is that okay? What's the name of the character? <laughs> oh, shoot. The one I'm thinking of um, is Despicable Me. I'm just going to do Shrek. I don't, I don't, that's the only thing I can think of. Holy cow. In the top uh, row of results. So. Top row. It's down here on the third row, which is still kind of impressive that it shows up. So the guy from The Office, and he does a voice of an animated movie. I don't know even really how Netflix search works. Animated movie. I'm just gonna put in The Office actor. I don't know. It's probably not gonna do anything for me. Oh, you know, yeah, nothing. I either, okay, my, of the two that I'm searching for that are in my head right now is either Over the Hedge or Zootopia. I can't remember who does the voice of the fox in Zootopia, but I don't think it's Steve Carell. I think it's someone younger. I think that's how you spell it? He's not in Zootopia though. Zootopia is, is gotta be like Ryan Reynolds or something. I don't know, I mean, I would just, I can just put Dr. Seuss movie, right? Let's see. So those are all Jim Carrey movies there. It's not in the first row. It's, can I type in Minions? Even though that's a movie title, so I can't do that. Okay, uh, 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 what if I just type in Banana? I typed in Gru. You got the point. Okay, cool. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I, I was just like so quickly about to write Despicable Me. Can you do Gru? I already know what movie we're looking for. Despicable Me. If I do little yellow people movie, I th I think I'll get it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> well, you definitely wow, didn't Netflix, get this one. Really? I guess most of the time, if you were searching for something, you would either know actors or actresses' name or like part of the movie title or something, you know, it would get you where you're kind of going. I honestly feel like I, I did okay. Uh, you know, I could have done worse. That was, that was pretty difficult. Netflix makes it easy because it's, you look up something really quickly and it should be the first thing that pops up. So Netflix should know you pretty well. Well, George, you got two points. Oh, <sighs> well, um, I don't know if that's considered passing. I think this just goes to show you if you're really trying to find something, you need those keywords. Keywords are where it's at. Thanks for watching In One Search on the React channel. Bye, you guys. Stay inside. Subscribe for new shows every single week. Hey guys, Lindsay from React here. To watch previous episodes, including our first In One Search, check out the links in the description below. Bye.